Hey guys, I've got a fun video for you today. My very good friend here on YouTube, Kat L, and I'll link to her channel down below in my description box, she tagged me in this video that she did, which is what are the first 10 luxury items you would repurchase. So if your entire, you know, collection of luxury handbags and accessories and clothing, if all of that were to disappear, what are the first 10 things you would go out and replace? And so I thought that was fun. I know I've done this with a lot of uh, different beauty products, you know, like lipsticks and my whole entire collection and foundations, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I've never done it for actual like luxury uh, fashion products. So this is going to be really fun. I have made a list. I do have a good smattering of jewelry, shoes, handbags, and a couple of actual clothing items. Let me see. Just one clothing item. That's right. I was removing and adding to this list quite a bit, but I think I have something down. I'm going to try and do this in an order that makes sense because I'm starting out here in my closet. So I've got my shoes in here. I've got jewelry here and I do have uh, that one piece of clothing item in here. So I do want to mention that this list isn't based on things that I could actually physically go out and purchase because a lot of these things are um, discontinued, you know, they're out of uh, season, they don't make them anymore, and so I wouldn't actually be able to run out and purchase them. So I guess this is more of a, a commentary on how much I love these things, how often I use them. And I don't want to say this is like my most loved um, products because that would be a different video. This is a little bit more pragmatic. These are the things that I feel like I use the most. These are the things that I would want to replace for specific reasons. So anyway, why don't I go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with uh, I'm going to start with jewelry because I'm just standing right here in front of my jewelry and the first thing on my list I'm already cheating because this isn't one thing But I would go out and replace all of my Lucifer Veronestis jewelry So that would be my wedding ring this ring all four of my rings These are all Lucifer rings and if you saw my jewelry collection video I go on and on about how much I love all of her pieces Luna Scamuzzi is the uh, designer behind Lucifer Veronestis and I will of course link to everything down below in my description box um, I also have these earrings from Luna these are 18 karat rose gold with diamonds and I also have these earrings from her these Baroque pearls so I would run out and replace all one two three four five six items uh, from Luna that I have because can't live without them. Love absolutely every single piece. I have zero regrets about any of this jewelry. I just love every single piece so much. So yes, that, that's number one on my list. And I know it's a cheat because it's actually six things, but everything from Luna, I would replace immediately. Immediately. She'd be my very first phone call. Okay. The second thing on my list is my Hermes click clack bangle, which is just yellow gold with the black enamel. I just, I wear this all the time. I feel like if I just need a little something, I throw this on. It goes well with a lot of my wardrobe. It goes well with my other jewelry. I do have a lot of gold jewelry. And I love this just simply as like a little accent piece. And it works for so many different occasions. I feel like it can be really, really casual if I just have like a white blouse on and my jeans or whatever, throw this on. Kind of spiffs up the entire outfit a little bit. If I have a black dress on, some black flats, I throw this on, it's great. So this is definitely something I would run out and repurchase immediately. Next, let's talk about shoes. This was this was very interesting because I actually, you know, I was going through my whole shoe collection and I was thinking I was gonna have a lot more shoes on this list than I do. Okay, I'm looking over my list and I'm like, ah, I think, okay. All right, I'm making, I'm making a last minute switch here. All right, so for shoes, I, I thought a lot more shoes were gonna make it onto this list, but I actually only have two, yeah, two pairs of shoes on this list, and they're both Chanel. I'm surprised by that. So you guys probably guessed it. The first pair that I would run out and purchase are my Chanel dad sandals. I, I love them. This was actually, um, yeah, this was like on the list and off the list and on the list and off the list, and I just thought, am I gonna run out and buy these? Because let's say today, if I lost everything, do I still think these are on trend? I feel like they've had their heyday. I have plenty of pairs of them. I've worn them plenty. Would I move on from these? But I have to say, these just, just like the Hermes bangle, I just feel like they go with so much of my current wardrobe. Black dress, jeans, black slacks, like 
you know, almost every single one of my outfits I can wear with these dad sandals. And I do have the white ones. I thought about, oh, maybe the um, pony hair shearling ones I would get instead of these black ones. But the black ones are just so classic. I, I think, yes, I think, yes, <laughs> I would go out and repurchase these immediately. So the other pair of shoes that made it onto this list is another pair of Chanel's. These are very new to my collection, so I was very hesitant to be adding it to this list, but I have been wearing them nonstop. These are the flat slingbacks that I got at, um, not at, <laughs> that I got while I was in Paris. And I, I just love them. They're really comfortable. I have kind of wide feet and they're fine. The slingback doesn't actually fall down. That was another one of my worries. I thought, oh, is it just gonna keep falling down? I'm gonna end up like stepping on it. That doesn't happen. Um, I have it in size 39. It's a very standard size for me, so these are true to size. Um, but I just love how classic these are. Um, I love the two tones to them. So again, I feel like they pretty much go with everything in my closet. They're a little bit dressier than these. So if I just wanted to kind of round out my one pair of shoe collection, since I'm starting from scratch, if I wanted to kind of round that out, I would get something just a little dressier. So. Yeah, I, I kind of surprised myself putting these on the list, but yeah, and these actually, I will tell you what these knocked off, my Loewe Flow Runners. I love those sneakers. I wear them all the time. They're really comfortable, great sneakers. Um, I love Loewe. Um, and I would probably replace them, but I don't know that it would be in this like top 10 list. So anyway, these are the only two pairs of shoes that made it to my list. Two pairs of Chanel shoes, kind of surprised. And now the only piece of clothing that made it to this list, because I do feel like I would probably take the opportunity and just get new stuff, you know, clothing, season by season, things are out of style so quickly or whatever. This, I actually got off season. I purchased this at an outlet um, in Woodbury Commons outside of New York City. But I love this. I wanted to buy it full price and I just missed it. It sold out so quickly. So when I saw it at the outlets, I was like, oh my God, this is a sign. So this is the Dior camo um, like parka that I got. I get so many compliments on this. People love this. I mean, aside from that, I love it. I, I love it. I think it's so cool. The workmanship is incredible. I love this like frayed exposed seam situation. I love how every single piece in this patchwork is uh, different. You know, it's not just like a top stitching. It's so cool. It's got a hood. It's the perfect weight, especially living here in Vegas. I can pretty much wear this like nine months out of the year. It's so awesome. I, I love this coat so much. I love it even more. Like I loved it when I saw it. I loved it when I tried it on. I loved it when I first saw pictures of it. But now that I have it, now that I've worn it, it's part of my wardrobe. I love it even more. And I would, of course I wouldn't be able to, but I would run out and get this immediately. I just love the detailing and I love the color. I'm a big fan of green. Uh, yeah, so this is like the one piece of clothing that I would miss so, so dearly. I would run out and get this. Okay, the last five items on my list are all handbags. So let's go on over to my handbag collection. The Chanel Deauville Tote. This has been indispensable for me. I'm holding up two only to show you that I love this one, this hot pink one, the shape or the size of this one. I think this is the large. I'm not sure though, but it is the absolute perfect carry-on. I just always pack this bag. Um, it fits perfectly under a seat. It's got the top handles, but it also has the shoulder straps. It's got um, amazing like inside pockets. It's just, it's not that heavy. It's just the perfect carry-on bag, a personal item. I have this other Deauville tote, which I think is a size medium, or this is a small and that's medium. Again, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Um, but this is uh, the leather version. It's just stiff, and I'm just not the biggest fan of this one. And the, the size is just a little bit too small, like it doesn't fit my laptop well. It does get a little heavy because it's leather. So if I could do it again, I would get this in this kind of like cloth fabric, but in the color black, just because I think it would travel a lot better. But the pink is kind of great. I can spot it a mile away. So yes, I would definitely uh, repurchase a Deauville because like I said, it is just the best like travel, travel pal. And this handbag is a relatively newer one to my collection, but much like the Chanel Deauville, this has become a really good 
a travel buddy. If I don't need something quite as big as my hot pink Deauville, I'll carry this one, which is the, um, I think this is the extra large Lueve puzzle bag and I have it in anthracite. And yeah, it's just great. Like my ticket passport situation fits perfectly in this um, back zip. And I like that it's the back zip because it's against my body when I'm carrying it. So I feel like it's protected. My phone also fits perfectly in there. And then it's got this flap. It's got a zipper. This is great if I'm not traveling with my laptop. If I'm traveling with just like my iPad and I just have, you know, a few things in there that I need, like my toiletries, my pills, whatever it is. This is the perfect size for it. And I love that it has a crossbody strap. It really makes it easy to walk around with. I don't have to put it on top of my little carry-on uh, luggage. So I love this. I love this bag. And it's just cool looking. I love it. <laughs> Thinking about getting it in a different color, like a, like a luggage brown, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I need two puzzle bags, but I do really, really love the shape. It's very, very handy. This next bag should come as no surprise to you because I have talked about this as being one of my most used handbags, for sure. If I haven't mentioned it in that capacity, it is. This is definitely one of my most used handbags. This is the Chanel 22 in the gold color. I have it in the size small because that's all I needed it for, and it was a really good size. It fits over my shoulder beautifully, and I just love it. I use it all the time. It's my running errands bag. It's my go shopping bag. It's my meet my friends for lunch bag. It is so good. And it's not that heavy despite having these uh, chains. I'm not having that issue still with the edges. I know there was some issue with uh, some of the Chanel 22s that first came out. It was like the leathers that had like the glaze over them um, that they were not wearing well, like the chains were rubbing up against them. Uh, my bag is fine. It's still fine. And I've used it a lot since I made the video kind of talking about like how my Chanel 22 is wearing. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. And I, you know, I've debated about getting just a black one, but I really like this color gold. And I don't want to get a black one only because I feel like I would use them both for the same purposes. Like this goes really well with black, but this also goes with a lot of other color, like navy, this would go really well with. So anyway, I'm just gonna stick with this one. I love it. And this is definitely, actually, this is the very first thing I added to this list. So, you know, right after contacting Luna about replacing all my jewelry, this is probably the first bag I would run out and get. Okay, the last two bags I wanted to mention are actually downstairs because uh, I've, I've been using them. So we're gonna take a walk downstairs. So for both of these bags that um, are the last two bags on my list, I'm actually surprised at how much I use them because they're both pretty structured bags and I like bags like the Chanel 22. A little, little less structured, I can just throw things in there. They kind of go for many different occasions. I've always felt like structured bags are a little bit more evening. But the Hermes 25 that I purchased for my friend, this uh, I use everywhere all the time. It really... I think is, it can be very casual. It also can be very dressy. It's a really versatile bag, much, much more versatile than I anticipated. A lot of it I think has to do with the color, the fact that it's a palladium hardware, the fact that it's a 25, because I do have a black gold 40 Birkin, and that is not versatile at all. I don't think it can be carried casually in any way. I think it's a great either carry-on or a great like business briefcase but that's it. This is a completely different bag, even though it's the same style. I would definitely replace this bag if I lost all of my things, but I, I do think if I were to get another Birkin, I would get the size 30. The 25, while the bag itself is a really nice size, it always seems to fit everything I need. The handles are really, really <laughs> petite. Like I can squeeze my hand in here, but it's not easy and I don't really have big hands. So it really is just, just a little bit too petite up here. So yeah, I think I'll, if I get another Birkin, it's gonna be a 30, maybe even a 35. And then last but not least is a fairly new bag to my collection. And much like the Chanel Slingback Flats, I was surprised this bag made it onto the list, but I have to admit, I have been using this a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, you know, I love this bag and I knew I'd use it, but I didn't realize it was gonna be quite as versatile 
as it has become. This is the Celine Triomphe bag that I purchased in Paris. And, you know, when you look at this bag, again, very structured, it has this like shiny smooth leather, the gold hardware. I thought, okay, this is just gonna be an evening bag. I love it, I appreciate it, that's fine. I wear this all the time. This looks great with jeans. This looks great with what, whatever I'm wearing, just, you know, casual t-shirt and sweater. It really is um, a casual day to night kind of bag. And I really, I really couldn't visualize it until I had it. And I started just kind of throwing it on or, you know, if I didn't feel like changing out my bag, I would just wear it, you know, with whatever I was wearing. And it works. It totally works. So I'm, I'm surprised. I, you know, I, I, I look at this bag and I think, well, what is it about this bag? Because there's, I think, plenty of bags that are similar to this that I don't feel like I could wear with uh, just about anything. And for some reason it works. Maybe it's like the big buckle kind of makes it a little bit more casual. Maybe if it was just like a little petite something, it would look a little bit more precious in evening. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. But yeah, this actually, I think, looks better with jeans than it does with something fancy. So yeah, very, very interesting. This has been a learning experience for me. So that is it. Those are the first 10 things I would run out and purchase if my entire collection were to just disappear. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if that was Kat's premise, but I think, I think her premise was more like uh, the first... Uh, the first 10 luxury pieces she go out and repurchase. Um, anyway, definitely check out Kat's channel and Kat's video. Again, I'll leave that link down below in my description box. But that is it. Let me know what some of your luxury pieces are that you would run out and repurchase if they were to disappear or get lost. I would love to hear from you. Definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.